Chris Chandler says he was healthy enough to play, but it's McNair who played. Second quarter, Jacksonville's up 7-0. McNair over the middle, Ronnie Harmon. 23 yards. We are now tied at 7. But in the second half, McNair having some problems. Tommy, some analysis. Well, McNair is going to get his time on the football field here. We're going to see him go, down, go back. He's going to force the ball into coverage. This ball will almost be picked off by Mickey Washington. There he gets a good look at it, throws to the sideline. Mickey Washington can't handle it until he's out of bounds. And then on the next play, this ball just flat overthrown. And Chris Hudson makes a play on the ball for the INT. Hudson brings it back, and Jacksonville was in good shape. Natron Means, after the turnover, his second touchdown of the game, just his second touchdown of the season. Jacksonville's up 17-7. Fourth quarter now, McNair. Ronan, staying alive somehow. He's going to throw and find Chris Sanders, who caught seven balls for 121 yards. That would set up a touchdown. Oilers down three. But down the stretch, Jacksonville's D takes over. Kevin Hardy incoming, Sax McNair. And then, Tommy, Tony Brackens forces a fumble, which Don Davey will recover. Yeah, and Don Davey recovers this ball, but I, I want you to take a look here at Rodney Thomas, who must really not understand the concept of recovery here as he leaps over Davey as he gets the ball. <laughs> then it's Kelvin Pritchett. As Jacksonville records three sacks, much better overall this season with the pass rush when you compare it to last season. As you see the comparison right there, Jacksonville goes on to win 23-17. For the first time in their short history, the Jags have won three straight.